Mr. David, can you hold my national championship trophy? Oh, uh, can you hold mine also? As you can tell, I'm here in, you know, the mecca of powerlifting, otherwise known as Covington High School. Thomas Anello, Grace Alvarez, two individual national champs. Covington High wins yet another national championship. Grace, just how much fun has this been? And, you know, you wrapped up your career, you were a senior. How much fun has this been? Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, it's been four years. I'm to be honest, it's, like, been fun the entire time. Um, I've had a really lucky four years in Covington High's team. And I'm really lucky to be with these people. The tradition that is built here, you know, it's a national brand now, Covington High. You were talking about how y'all flew. All these other schools, you know, could mm -hmm. bust and stuff. It shows you just where Covington High powerlifting is. How much fun is it to be just on the ground level of you're part of the founding fathers of Covington High powerlifting? I mean, it's, it's, it's feels nice, but like, it's not just me. It's like Tommy here. I've been powerlifting him, with him for years and it's been like, you know, a blessing. It's, you know, powerlifting's different because it's, oh, we outscored them here. You know, I hit four three-pointers here. But powerlifting's different because it's all about what you lift and compared to what you weigh and all that kind of stuff. What's some of the reasons that high powerlifting has been so good lately? Well, it's an individual sport. Like, you know, it's you know about how you make yourself better. But, like, as a team combined, you make yourself better, and you all put it together, and it's just like... Great. <laughs> All right. I know, and this is not to be mean to him, we're missing one. You know, Trey's not here, big time in us, you know, all that kind of stuff. He won at 116 pounds, and he was named the most outstanding overall lifter. Talk about your teammate. Trey <laughs> has a questionable ethic, but he's worked hard and has achieved so much. I'm really proud of him. Thomas. I always ask this question. I ask this question to Coach Buford after the national meet. How do y'all win national titles and not state titles? What what happens there? <laughs> well, state we just can never have a good meet. It's just <laughs> always like we get there and something's not going right. We lose the suit and just some of our lifters just don't perform at the level they do at nationals. One thing he did say, though, he goes, they use that as motivation because it ticks them off. Did y'all use that as motivation of, you know what, we may, we may not win state, but this national title is ours? Mm -hmm. Well, my national meet was my best meet I've ever had just because at state, coming in second by a point is just, you're like, so at nationals, you're like, we're not going to let this happen again. When y'all go, because this is not your first time going to nationals, it's not your first time winning nationals, when you go, do you sense that, like, while Covington's walking in, y'all are like the John Curtis of powerlifting. Do, 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 do you get that <laughs> feeling from other schools when you're there? Yeah, we do. Because it's just like, oh, people looking at you and stuff. Like, All right, awesome. Well, we'll wrap this up here. Here's your national championship trophy. Thank you. And here's y'all's. And here's yours. Appreciate it. Thank you.